your number after the loop. Hello, this is Andrew Cunning at City Stock and Finance. I'm away from the desk at the moment, but if you leave a message, I'll get back to you ASAP. Hi, this is Andy. Can't come to the phone at the moment. Leave a message, you know what to do, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. My inspiration is usually corruption, but today I take to the streets to find a true story. It's Friday night and I'm walking down Valence Road. The sky is purple with fast approaching clouds and a full moon. A bomber's moon, as old war pilots used to say. So maybe... Ah, the Azan. Call to prayer. I see now I'm reminded of what an obsessive sinner I am. You know, something in me says that something interesting might happen today. Cool. <laughs> right, let's head towards the market. We're going through a totally deserted market now. See, I love it like this. The stalls are skeletal, framed, decorated bits of rubbish. It feels quite eerie compared to during the day when it's packed with people who have no sense of direction. So all you want to do is kick people out of the way. Ah, there's my man Ali. As always, reading the paper with his dog Diesel. Salam alaikum. They're like a permanent fixture here. Does he not ever work? Okay, now passing our local snooker joint. During the day is great. But at night, it's mainly where local dealers provide for city wankers before their weekend binge. Yep, there's our first casualty of the night going in. Except this one's trying to be all street in his blue snakeskin jacket. Funny, he doesn't even look the type. Street in his blue snakeskin jacket. Funny, he doesn't even look the type. Let's see what it gets up to inside. I'm going in. Pit. Heading towards 
city. Bloody hell, this guy walks fast. Oops. I think I'm getting a bit too close now. That's better. I feel like Detective Faluda on a case here. Except my man's not really smuggling anything or murdered anyone. So far, all he's done is enter a dodgy building and zigzagging across neighborhoods now. Just turned right. Glass buildings left and right of me. So much money. I think I've lost him. Right, straight as a brick wall. Turning around is back home. So... Turn right. Right it is then. This is a bit lonely. <sighs> Where the hell is he? It's getting a bit boring now. I think we're behind some restaurants. Maybe that's where he's gone. Okay, let's turn left. Okay, I really don't know where I am now. These must be like shortcuts or something. Really not liking this. Why do I keep feeling like there's someone behind me? Uh, idiot, just keep walking. Yeah. What the? I think someone's trying to scare me. This is stupid. I'm off. and fun, okay? I didn't mean anything. I didn't mean anything, man. Come on, man. I was looking for some inspiration. I'm a writer. Inspiration, man. Come on. I'm a writer, man. Inspiration. Leave it, man. Come on, get off me, man. Get off me, man. Get off me, man. Get off me, man. Let go of my arm. Let go of my arm, man. Get him on the ground. My neck, my fucking neck. Phil? What are you doing here? You okay? What's wrong? Where's your snakeskin jacket? My what? Why? <laughs> where were you last night? You know where I was last night. What's the matter? Why are you here? I saw you leave the house. I thought it'd be fun to follow you. Phil? <sighs> Do you know?
Jesus. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Paranoid and well habits. <laughs> I'm sorry. So what are you doing here? Found this dictaphone. Just like round the corner and there's a fight on it. The stabbing on it. I thought I heard your voice. Listen. And look, there's blood. Wow. What do you think we should do with it? Well, I was thinking of taking it to the police. I mean... Yeah, we, we could take it to the police. Um, yeah. In fact, you should give it to me. Um, I'll listen to it again and uh, we can see what really happens. Go home. 